when i'm talking about peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system contains the nerves as i said you all the nerves are included in the peripheral nervous system these nerves are divided into motor neurons and sensory neurons these are, what are these motor neurons motor neurons are also called as efferent neurons and they are carrying the information from brain and spinal cord to the muscle fibers so they carry the messages away from the brain away from the brain whereas sensory neurons are also called as efferent these are efferent but the, they are called as efferent neurons and they carry the messages towards the brain and spinal cord suppose you are seeing something a pen in my hand my eyes are seeing this so my eyes contain sensory neurons because sense organs are connected right they contain the sensory neurons they see the pen the information will be gone to the brain yeah you are watching a pen you are holding a pen so this sensory neurons are connected with the sense organs and carry the messages towards the brain and spinal cord then again back i am getting the information with the motor neuron oh, i come to know that some the, some of the motor messages are carried and that comes to my lips so my lips will have the motor neurons and i respond oh this is the pen that writes on this digital board so this is about uh, you know the sensory neurons and the motor neurons sensory neurons are also called as efferent motor neurons are also called as efferent they carry the messages away from the brain they carry the messages towards the brain and spinal cord and they are called as stimulus stimulus detector they are called as stimulus effector what is this detector they are detecting something i am detecting something today i am standing here and i see the things in this room oh i came to know okay there are total six fans in this room so i am detecting something how with my with my eyes and somebody somebody is talking here so i could hear that how i could do that again by detecting i am detecting yeah this is the voice of so and so ma'am so stimulus detector they are detecting something stimulus effect are because they are giving the effect responding we are responding oh you are okay ma'am okay six fans here okay i am responding so stimulus detector and stimulus effect are and where they are present how they are present just now i have shown you the long spinal cord cut that spinal cord when you cut that spinal cord longitudinally you can see this is the spinal cord and the spinal cord will have the red color called as efferent neuron and the blue color line called as if efferent neuron one is carrying the messages towards the brain, spinal cord and then brain then again carry the messages from brain to spinal cord and back to the effector organ wherever they have to show the response so this is about peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system includes somatic system so this is the somatic nervous system that contains the motor neurons and also the sensory neurons and peripheral nervous system consists of total 43 pairs of nerves that originate total how many 43 pairs you can see here all these are 43 pairs of nerves in the peripheral nervous system so they contains 43 pairs of this peripheral nervous system which are further divided into what that we are going to learn in our next slide coming to next is autonomous nervous system autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system is the nervous system that is divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system somatic nervous system motor neurons and sensory neurons autonomic nervous system is divided into parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system very important ma'am what is this autonomic nervous system what it is doing yes students autonomic nervous system i will give you the definition autonomic nervous system is the nervous system that have the ability to carry all the involuntary functions of the internal organs all the important internal organs all the important internal organs functions are under the control of autonomic nervous system but ma'am you said cerebrum is doing that it is controlling our heart it is yes but even to control the voluntary and involuntary action even autonomic nervous system is also controlling that how i will explain you so that it become easy for your understanding first listen autonomic nervous system is the system that controls or that have the ability to 
control the internal involuntary actions of our organs like suppose how many of you play cricket yeah you are playing cricket in very hot sun your mom make the call and you ran towards your home you are running towards your home because your mom called, uh, called and she may be angry the moment you enter your home it is completely dark why because it is daytime and your mom has not kept any uh, you know light and all as soon as you enter you don't know where your mom is sitting you can just listen her voice how many of you have experienced this most of we even when i used to play outside under the sun as soon as i used to enter my hall or my room i could not see the things for some period of time but after some period of time we could able to see the things clearly why is it it is because of the eye contains our eye contains lens pupil and iris this is the lens the lens consists of the the lens consists of the pupil and even a small dot in the center a black color dot in the center that is called as your pupil have you seen when light is focused on you the pupil size increases or decreases yeah when heavy light is bright light is focused the pupil decreases because very bright light you can see clearly but when you are in dark room the pupil will dilate dilate it increases the diameter of it increases so that you can see the things in dark room so who is helping in that dilation of the pupil is under the control of sympathetic nervous system and constriction of the pupil is under the control of parasympathetic nervous system ma'am what will happen if sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems are not there if your pupil is dilated if uh, parasympathetic nervous system is not working it may not come to normal position exactly that's the reason autonomic nervous system also play a very important role suppose you are releasing saliva saliva jo uh, you know the saliva that is released from your mouth while eating food and all saliva is released so release of saliva stimulation of the salivary glands under the control of parasympathetic nervous system and to stop that yeah to inhibit that salivation is under the control of sympathetic nervous system so both parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system are controlling our involuntary actions and keeping it at constant position suppose if parasympathetic nervous system is only working salivary glands releasing saliva 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 is oozing out from your mouth how it looks if sympathetic nervous system is not working exactly that's the reason both the nervous system coordinates with each other and they control all the internal organs of our body if i talk about heart slow of the heart rate is under the control of parasympathetic nervous system and to accelerate that heart beat is under the control of sympathetic nervous system similarly lungs constriction of the bronchi under the control of parasympathetic nervous system and dilate that bronchi under the control of sympathetic nervous system stomach is you know releasing the enzymes with the help of sympathetic nervous system and to inhibit that to stop that is under the control of sympathetic nervous system so both the nervous systems are very important see when you are urinating when you are urinating the bladder constrict urine comes out suppose your bladder is always constricted oh no way that's the reason sympathetic nervous system again relaxes the bladder okay your heart beat accelerate agar wo hamesha always it is accelerating oh my god it might be a complication so parasympathetic nervous system again slows down that heart beat hope you understand that autonomic nervous system is playing a very important role that is controlling all the internal actions of our body and keeping it in a normal constant position